I dream that Sly Stone was returned to his former glory. Jumpsuited joy with shark fin flare. That he was recognized as the king he is. And that he could take in this recognition through lollipop shades of trippy magenta. That the inclusion he forged with his family brought down the walls he had built up around himself with blasting horns and soaring harmonies from male and female, black and white, together. That all the money squandered by bad business was kicked back by every funk band and hip-hop crew who cocked his groove for their own devices that his aimless camper van became a vehicle to deliver him to a place of comfort and security, and all the discarded crack vials became a carpet of stars to light the way for him, that all the awkward performances and abrupt exits became triumphant encores to thunderous applause from the everyday people who always felt his love. Everybody stand! <laughs> Spring was in full bloom, Central Park in full flower, flooded with tourists and dewy May sunshine, buzzing convergent languages and tiny winged creatures that fly, whispering the stirring promise that summer was bound to arrive. On a patch of green space, carpeted with fuchsia petals, a figure is laid out flat against the ground where you should see its face, denim blue is stretched taut, splayed body seemed to be draining away, seeping down into fertile soil, leaving only clothing behind, plus the wheelie cart that held earthly possessions inside, parked along the garden path. The streaming multitudes unknowingly pass the scene by. But those who see, like me, stop and wonder, our hearts filled with jealousy to witness such an escape from mankind and from ourselves, to surrender to the beauty of the earth. <laughs> Thank you, Harry.